Hi, I'm Kimberly Jolly from It's So Emma, and I'm proud to introduce my brand new ruler called the Starburst 30 Degree Ruler by Creative Grids. My favorite quilt blocks are stars, and so I decided to design a ruler that you could make star blocks using 30 degree angles, but also not have to use templates. With this ruler, you're gonna get an oversized block that you trim down, so it's gonna be the perfect size, and we've designed it so all of your points are inset every half inch so your points don't have to match when you add sashing. So let me show you how you use this ruler. I designed this ruler to be super easy to use. You can use your A1 or A2 line for a left 30 degree angle or your B1 or B2 line for a right 30 degree angle. Your C1 and your C2 can be used to make a circular block. Your A1, B1, and C1 lines would be used if you want more of a print showing, and your A2, B2, and C2 lines would be used if you want more of a background showing. So let me show you how easy it is to use. Before you start your project, heavily starch your fabric with a very heavy starch and let it completely dry before you cut. To make the starburst block, which the free pattern is included with your ruler, you're gonna cut four five and a quarter by 21 inch rectangles, two five and a quarter inch by 21 inch rectangles of a print one, and two five and a quarter by 21 inch rectangles of print two. You're gonna sew a white and a print one rectangle together. You're gonna press open and make two. You're gonna do the same thing with print two. I use a thread that closely matches the fabric, and today we're using the brand new First Blush Fabric by Wyndham Fabrics. Now we're gonna move on to cutting. Now you have four strip sets, and from each strip set, you're gonna cut three units. It's very simple. We're just gonna place the A1 line on the seam. And it's nice and flat since we pressed open, and I'm just gonna trim all the way around. And I'm gonna continue until I have a total of 12 units. When you're using this ruler and making blocks, you will always have four quadrants. On our starburst block, you're gonna notice that some of our quadrants are the same and some are different. Now I'm gonna show you how you assemble a quadrant. I'm gonna show you how to make a quadrant that looks like this. First, you're gonna put a pink on the left and a yellow on the right, and you're gonna be working with bias edges, so we're going to pin. I'm gonna pin at the top and the bottom and twice in between. You're gonna stitch with a quarter inch seam all the way down and it's going to look like this. Now, the very most important thing you're gonna do when you're making this quilt, if you want flat blocks, is you're gonna cut a V right here. That is gonna remove bulk. Then, you're going to press open and you've got a nice pretty V here. Then we're gonna add another pink to the right side we're gonna stitch a quarter inch down, quarter inch down, and we're, again, we're gonna cut this V. You're gonna press open, and you're gonna see you have a lot less bulk right here, which is gonna make your blocks perfect at the end. We have our four quadrants sewn, and now we're gonna sew them together. You're gonna to stitch the top two together with a quarter inch seam and the bottom two together with a quarter inch seam. So now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna to pin to get perfect results. We're gonna be pinning the top two together. So it's very important to pin in this step and these seams do not matter that much, but these do. So what we're gonna do is place them right sides together and I'm just gonna put one little pin out here but it doesn't have to be perfect. This does. So you're gonna see you have a V and a V, and we would like those Vs to match. So I'm gonna do something that I call poke a pin. I'm gonna put a pin in the very tip 
and then I'm going to place this pin in this tip, push it down, and pin. And again, we're working on the bias, so we're going to use a couple of pins. So when you start stitching, you're always going to start in the center and end on the outside. You're going to press open and I'm going to show you how to cut your V. Now we have our two halves completed and we're going to sew them together and I've got lots of tricks for you. You're going to place your units right sides together and we're going to pin only on this side. We're going to place lots of pins. We're going to do the polka pin right in the center the same way we did before. Then you're going to stitch from right before the center to the end. Then you're going to open it and you're going to look and make sure that your points touch. And if they touch, you close it back up and again, sew from the center to the outside. Because if you stitch from end to end, your block will shift and your points will not match. So now, we're going to finish stitching, press our block open, and we're going to be ready to trim down. And now we're going to trim our block. I'm using a Creative Grids 12 and a half inch ruler. And what you want to notice on this block and others is if you place it this direction, you're going to get one look. But if you place it another direction, you might get a slightly different look. So always pay attention to your pattern and the direction before you cut. On this ruler, you've got two white lines which are showing the center. So I'm going to line the white lines up and the circle in the center and we're just going to trim all the way around. And this is what I absolutely love about this ruler, the Starburst ruler, is because you get a perfect block. And it just looks so nice and flat because we've clipped our V's. It's nice and perfect. And I hope you love this ruler. I can't wait for all of you to try our brand new Creative Grids Starburst 30 degree inch ruler and definitely sign up for our brand new first blush block of the month at the Fat Quarter Shop.